Okay, it's coming out of here, hopefully. Get it all loose. So. Nice clean way to uh, drain the filter housing. It's just uh, drain it by the water drain thing on the canister. Well, uh, I think it, I don't know how long it took me. Maybe, maybe about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, to look uh, to take this out of the truck. Never done it before, so took a little longer, but uh, pretty straightforward getting it out, except for this plug. Uh, just FYI, you guys, how to um, get this plug out of the other thing. I'll have to show you. On the, it's a, you would just press the thing in. You press it press it in back here. You gotta take like your right hand in the truck and push the lever in. You can't see it, of course. And then this pulls out of it. It's easier to pull this thing out of the hole first and then get the whole thing out in front of you and do it that way. Cause there's, this goes into a little mounting bracket, a little piece of metal. And this is where the leak is. A notorious on all the, the trucks um, so you just need a 10 millimeter for the top up here this bolt uh, 10 millimeter 17 millimeter open end box wrench I use for each of them and then just drain the fuel into a little uh, a couple of little uh, arrow like little water bottles in from here and that makes it pretty clean and that way you don't have anything running well I guess yeah Anyways, so hopefully this is empty when I undo this bolt. I think this bolt is a 12. Don't know yet, but I believe it's a 12. So uh, I'll correct it if it isn't. So 10, 17. Um, all right, let's get this thing apart. And it's a number 20 Torx, I believe, on the inside uh, for this thing. So let me get this thing apart. Okay, so got it all apart. It is a T20 on the little Torx screws. Uh, hang on, let me turn on the light. Okay. This is a T20 on the Torx screws that go in this plate here. Um, there's the plate thing all out. I took the O-ring off of it. It's really a pretty small O-ring. Um, it's all flattened out, you can see, so, um, but anyhow, um, so I used the number 15 on the HNVR in here, the number A015, which is that one right there in the middle. Um, trying to do an upgrade to a HNBR O-ring. Hopefully it works. Trying it and use some silicone grease on the O-ring. It looks like how O-rings should look, just protruding slightly. You know, uh, went out over nice. A uh, nice little note I haven't seen in any of the other videos. On this plug, when you do the removal of the pins, you push them... Uh, outward you don't uh, you push put a little I put like a little straight uh, eyeglass thing you know eyeglass kit uh, to push the little clippy thingy that's in there you push it outward and this is labeled also you can see on the side so you don't have to worry um, you'll see a minus you see the minus on the top there and then there's a plus on the other side. See the plus? Uh, right in front of my thumb, there's a plus. And those, uh, since it's resistant heat, it wouldn't be a big deal. But you might as well put it together the way they're supposed to be put together. So put the red on the plus and the black on the negative side. Uh, there might be some deal with that. Um, Maybe with these cars with ECMs and something being triggered from whatever, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's cool. I found that out on that. 
And uh, I think that's about it so far. Let me try putting this thing back together. Hopefully it goes okay. Okay. Um, so definitely put some silicone grease. Um, got this at Home Depot. Um, in the plumbing section for putting together faucets and stuff like that. Definitely put that on this when you're putting it together. It went together like butter. I tried it with just like diesel fuel because I figured, hey, diesel fuel might be, you know, it'll be wet and be a lubricant. No, I tried pushing it in a little bit and it, it didn't go. When I put the silicone grease on there and, then, and greased the hole too, uh, it's chamfered on the hole. This thing went in like butter. Definitely, definitely, definitely use silicone grease. Um, goes in like butter. Uh, so it's wonderful. Um, and I'm just going to hopefully put it back together.